Welcome back everyone. You may have an issue with your Android phone where for some reason the updates are just not installing or downloading or maybe you can't even find the update. Now this can happen for a couple of different reasons but the very first thing I would tell you in this specific situation is to first of all make sure that your phone even is supplied with the update. So when Android 12 or 13 or 14 comes out, it's not necessarily available for all Android phones at one time. So with the Pixel, typically it's like first in line. If you have a Samsung or different phone, it may not come out at the same time as other ones. So you wanna Google you know, your phone and then the software version release date, and then pretty much determine when your specific phone is going to be getting that update. So let's say you know and you verify that the phone is getting an update, and maybe you can even see it through your settings panel. So if I go ahead and go into my settings, if you guys don't know how to get the update, you wanna click here. Typically I go ahead and search update right here, and then I click system updates, and then essentially you'll see system update here, you click on it, and as you can see, it tells me my system's up to date. Now, let's say I did have an update available and I could actually download it. Well, you want to make sure that you even have enough storage on your device to download or install the update. So in this specific case, if I go ahead and hop out of here and I go into my storage settings, so if I go and hop out of here, I click storage, you want to make sure that you have enough storage saved on your device to actually install this specific update. So in this specific case, as you can see, I have enough storage saved on my device. If I really wanted to, I don't have to delete anything, but let's say you only have like 300 megabytes or something saved on your phone. Well, what I would recommend doing is swiping out of here and pretty much deleting any apps that you don't use. You can also go ahead and go back into that settings panel and pretty much you know see what takes up the most amount of storage as you can see photos and videos. And I would recommend deleting any types of photos and videos that you may have on your phone and anything that you don't need clear them out and then try reinstalling the update and most times this will actually probably end up fixing the issue. Now secondly, let's go and say this doesn't fix it. Well what I would recommend doing is seeing if you can go ahead and delete the update and then pretty much reinstall it. So in this case what I would recommend doing is either going back into your storage settings. As you can see I don't have the update available. Typically it would tell me something here. Sometimes it would go ahead and be under system but typically you should be able to see the update here or you can download another app that can go and allow you to see it. And I would recommend deleting that specific update. If you have the ability to, what that basically does is it allows you to re-download that specific update and then you can go ahead and try reinstalling it. As I mentioned before, this should probably end up fixing the issue and more times than not, simply just re-downloading the update may actually do it for you. Now let's say you can't see any of it. You know your phone has an update. You know for some reason it's just like not working. I don't know what's going on. Well, typically at this point, you have to make sure that you're either connected to a Wi-Fi signal or your phone supports downloading updates through the phone service. So in this case, I'm connected to a phone service or I'm connected to Wi-Fi and you want to make sure that your Wi-Fi connection is good. You want to load up some apps, you want to load up, you know, Chrome, whatever the case is, load up some web pages, and you want to make sure that your phone is actually getting service of some sort. If it looks like you're getting internet and it seems to be everything's working, then I would recommend either waiting a couple hours. Sometimes it takes a minute for them to, you know, even push the update out on their servers. There may be a lot of people downloading at one time and you're going to have to, you know, just wait a second or your Wi-Fi signal is corrupt somehow, if that's not the case, then I would recommend you know making sure that there's not a lot of people downloading the update and it can take quite a bit of time for it to actually go through. So those are just a couple ways to pretty much fix it if your phone is not installing the update, updating the phone, or even downloading the update. If you guys have any other questions or anything like that, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button down me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. Every single subscriber that we get really does count. So me so much if you guys get hit that. Also check out the other links down in the description as well. My Twitter, my Instagram, my other channels. More importantly, everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.